Well, Christmas break is nearly here, and that means the kids will have a lot of free time and likely a lot of energy to burn. So if you're looking for a wild ride the whole family can enjoy, Chuck found just the thing on his Christmas adventure to Pokagon State Park in Angola. Hey guys, good morning from beautiful Lake James at Pokagon State Park in Steuben County. Admittedly, it's a little bit too chilly to swim, so let's do something a little bit more cool for the season. So sit down, Chris Cross. This is a very popular place at Pokagon State Park, the Toboggan Run. Oh dear goodness. And it's been around here a long time, right? It has. The Toboggan was built in 1935 wow. by the Civilian Conservation Corps, and it was open to the public in 1938. <laughs> We rounded up a great group of Trine University students, two from Indy, and I think it's safe to say they enjoyed the ride. Oh no. Oh no. What has been the, the uh, general response from people who come here for the first time? People think it's absolutely thrilling to get to go down what's essentially a roller coaster in the winter time, and people come back year after year. It becomes a family tradition for a lot of families. Now, Pokagon's in Indiana, and it's in Indiana, not northern Michigan, not Canada, but it doesn't matter because even if it were above freezing like today, you can still go out, right? That's correct. The track is refrigerated, so it can run even in above freezing temperatures. So the Toboggan Tower is 30 feet tall. The track itself is about a quarter mile long. From the top of the tower to the end of the track, you're going to drop about 90 feet vertically. Wow. When people ride this, uh, it looks like it's going pretty fast. How fast do these toboggans go? Yeah, most people get going about 35 miles an wow. hour. Wow. The record speed's 43 miles an hour. Oh, man. Now, when you have something that's been open as long as this has been, I imagine that you probably have families who their whole legacy, as far back as they can remember, has been part of this. Yeah, we hear lots of stories that of people that have ridden it in the 50s and 60s, and now they're bringing their children and grandchildren, and so um, it's neat to hear all of their stories and memories from the toboggan. How was it? It was awesome. <laughs> By the way, this is only one of two refrigerated toboggan runs in the Midwest. And yes, I did not go down. I have a bit of a back and shoulder injury. That's okay. Our trying university students, producer Megan and photographer Scotty, did a great job. We hope you come up here. We hope you enjoyed Chuck's Christmas adventure. We sure did, guys. Back to you. Oh, it looks so fun. Thank you, Chuck. <laughs> and the track has been upgraded over the decades, so the double run was added in the 1940s, and the track was refrigerated in the 70s, and that tower upgraded in the mid-80s. Yeah, they've also added a warming center where you can take a break and enjoy some hot cocoa. The Toboggan Run is open this weekend. Winter break hours start December 21st. They'll be open every day except Christmas through January 5th. Then the run is open weekends until March 1st. So we've got all of the dates, the times, the pricing, all of that good stuff on our website, wthr.com slash Christmas adventure. And hey, we're not